Hello guys, welcome to another custom model segment. We're going to be looking at some more rolling stock today. So let's get started. I've pretty much got like three different models to show here. There's actually a lot more that I want to show, but I'll explain that near the end. So let's take a look at this truck right here first. So all I did for this truck was take off the face from a take along troublesome truck and then stuck it on this truck right here. I think this is a big jigs free car. It says Royal Dockyard Chatham and it's a cold truck. So I just stuck this tag along face on the front of it. And so this truck is going to have a name and it's pretty much just going to be Tiny. So yeah, that's that truck right there. Now let's take a look at these other two trucks because these trucks are interesting. So let me bring in this other one right here and I'll just move the camera over in a second and we'll get a good look at this truck. So this truck the main body is made out of like plastic or something and basically I got this plastic body from a website called Shapeways. I don't know how many of you don't know that website but Shapeways is a website where you can find like 3D printed objects and yeah that's where I got this slate truck body and so I bought one of them as well as something else which I'll show and so yeah this slate truck body fits on a short chassis very good like it's a perfect fit so basically when it came I didn't do any painting to it so this chassis came from a battery powered James Tender and the way I was able to stick it on was Basically, I took some foam tape and then used it to stick the body onto the chassis. And that was a pretty clever idea. It was actually suggested by my mom, so I'm going to thank her for that. And so, yeah, and then the face I drew out with a pen and stuck it on there. If you look on the back here, not sure how well you can see it, but well basically I just stuck the face on with clay and there is some clay in like the little holes and stuff in the middle here. And so this tr female slate truck is going to have a name and I'm pretty much deciding that the name is going to be Lucy. So let's move on to our third truck. So now if you look at this, you may think, oh, it's the Troublesome Brake Van, one of the rarest Thomas and Friends wooden items in the whole range. Well, it's not an actual Troublesome Brake Van. So this was another item from Shapeway, and it was pretty much a whole van that was made out of plastic. Everything from the wheels and the chassis and the body and stuff. It was all connected and it was all made of plastic, so I bought one of these to make it to a custom troubles and brake van and so let me show you the bottom because there are some holes in the bottom here that were used to like let air in so like it wouldn't be like stiff or anything like if you wanted to move the wheels or something I guess so yeah it's not an actual troubles and brake van but it's close enough to it because it looks so much like it so I painted it brown and black painted the body brown Painted the roof black as well as the chassis and the wheels. And for the wheels, I I uh, I used a clear nail polish on the paint on the wheels to make sure that the paint won't chip or wear off when it's running along the tracks here. It is making a scraping sound as it rolls along, but that's pretty much probably because the wheels are made of plastic. I mean, I know other wheels are made of plastic, but these are, like, different. And then for the magnets, I just went out and bought these tiny little 
magnets that I thought would fit make be a perfect fit on the spot where the magnet goes but they were actually a little bit smaller when I took them out of the little container but they're still okay and they're see so yeah, I used some glue to stick them on the front and the back and they were of course flat magnets and so that actually gives you okay basically the troublesome brake fan has flat magnets and so this was kind of a good little coincidence or something basically these magnets are flat too so yeah it does almost look like a whole like a actual troublesome brake fan even though the magnets are a bit small and then for the face I pretty much just took a used a picture from the internet it was pretty much the thumbnail for Jay Louvier's character Friday video on the troublesome brake fan I just cropped the image so I could cut out the face it's not exactly the right size or shape I mean it's more rectangular than it's when it's supposed to be like square or something I think yeah but it's close enough and I think it looks pretty good overall so that's the troublesome brake fan custom and also and once again here's Lucy and here is tiny so there's just a couple other things I want to say before I end this video so before you ask the only truck or trucks that will appear in the truck movie out of these three the main one is going to be Lucy and then this troublesome brake fan might appear a bit later on in the movie but yeah as of right now Lucy is the only one who's really going to appear tiny here will appear in season two I know what I'm going to do with him and yeah so Lucy will be in the truck movie so another thing I want to point out real quickly is Lucy can can hold small pieces of cargo like this little package that came with the Hero of the Rails 2009 version of When Roy Kevin. So yeah, she can hold small pieces of cargo. Just wanted to point that out. So now the next thing I want to say is that I drew a face on this and you probably saw off to the side during this whole video. I have decided to take the clay faces off of off of my custom trucks and use paper faces instead. For one thing, the clay faces could break like the eye pieces could come off. And it's just a bit difficult handling this fragile piece of a custom character. So yeah, I took off the clay faces and replaced them with paper ones. Because of this, I'm going to be able to change the expressions a bit. So basically, first let me show you guys all the faces that are currently on the truck. So this is Rico, Riot, Chester, Scaredy, Nicholas, Archie, Danny, Danielle, Carl, Mario, Sonic, Wrench and Bolt, the two-faced truck fungus brick wreck horrid hoogie the evil breakdown crane steel tooth sinister and junk so now like I said, I'll be able to change the expressions with these paper faces because I can remove them easier and still put them back on with the help of a little clay. And in this little container, this is a Thomas drink cup from 2000 and the dates on here, 2001. So this is a drink cup. It's a drink cup on the top and then this bottom part right here can be removed so you can like put a little snack in it for like when you're on the go or something like some goldfish crackers or something so in this little part i have some paper faces of different expressions for the trucks so i'm not gonna like show you each and every one of them but like say um 
This face right here is going to be like an angry expression for Sonic. This right here is Mario's sleeping face. This is a sad face for Mario. This here is a sad face for Sonic, I believe. And here we've got a little bit of an upset expression for Scaredy. And yeah, I won't show the rest. I mean, you'll have to keep a lookout for them in the truck movie and other videos in the future. So yeah, I just wanted to say that I replaced the clay faces with paper faces so I can change the expression and so I don't have to worry about them breaking or anything. And so that's pretty much it for this custom all segment on these three trucks. And one very last thing that I want you guys to that after I'm done filming this, I'm going to start officially start filming on the truck movie. And basically, I'll say that the release date for the first part is going to be is going to be on Christmas Day. And yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So it's about a month, three weeks away, but I also have plenty of other stuff to keep you guys entertained until then. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll pretty much just start filming the truck movie in just a little bit.